Hey guys, Spartan here. Welcome to... Hang on, let me just move this backwards a bit. And move forwards myself. Odin's Field Thrasser Edition. Because I have been planning to do this game for... Six months, and this may seem like... The video itself may seem pixely a bit. But that's because this is, um, recorded with Dazzle, which is not the best, and I, I forgot. The game automatically puts on demo mode incredibly quickly. Well, not demo mode, just cutscenes and stuff. So yes, um... Let's start this. I have been planning this series since, um, how long was it? June of this year. Like, early... No, no, it was mid-June, I think. I'll be playing on English because I can't read Japanese. Or I, I don't speak it. So, if you've never seen this game before, it's pretty damn good. Hang on, the video looks a bit blurry. It probably won't look like this in the end result, or maybe it will. Hang on, I have to take a look at this. <clears throat> yep, I have confirmation that the video does look quite blurry. Hang on, did my controller turn off? No, it didn't, I just have to press circle to exit this. Now, one thing that is uh, problematic with uh, catch capturing with a, a Dazzle plugged into OBS is the fact that the bottom of the screen is cut off. It's just a bit off, but not that much. So this game is split up into five, well, technically six, but mostly just five sections and they're represented in books. You complete one, you go to another, and it's basically one huge story split up into five segments, portrayed in different perspectives by five characters. It's pretty damn good, if I do say so myself, and the art looks amazing, but you won't be able to get a good view of it because uh, this is recorded with a very old capture device. <coughs> I'm fine, I swear. I'll just let this cutscene play.
Okay, so... <clears throat> let me just address something quickly. The animations may seem really, like, weird and liney. That is because Dazzle captures in 29.97 FPS, which is completely weird. And I have no idea why it captures in such a weird rate, but... Uh, yeah, I can't really change that because... Unless I have a different capture card, I cannot record any better than this. And I've been wanting to do this for ages, so if you can sit through this and, uh, understand that it doesn't look that good, but, uh, it'll be fine. So yes, jumping and double jumping. I will be comparing this very much to how the original game was. In the original game, there was no platforming. It was just all circular stages. Also, chests only contained items, not money. And you can go through the floor with down and X. I don't need to explain this. And you can smash stuff. The original game had no smashables. I'll be comparing this very much to the originals. And this is just a tutorial. Continuous attacks by pressing square rapidly. And you will not hear any sound from my uh, keyboard because I'm not using a keyboard, I'm using a controller. Because this is of course not emulated. This is recorded straight from my uh, s bloody uh, uh, PS3. I've just plugged it into my Dazzle, which plugs into my PC, which I can record with OBS. And this is just basic tutorials. You can block, you can use a down attack to break enemies' blocks. And you can press R1 to evade. Now I'll be rebinding these controls soon enough, because um, I'll be playing as the original game played. Which only has a problem for, um, like, one certain ability in the game, which you're going, I'm going to have to rebind the controls again. And that isn't until, like, the fourth book. So, yeah. I'm pretty much going to be fine. You probably don't need to know the inner workings. Also, this game is pretty damn hard. I don't think I ever chose a difficulty here. I don't think I actually have the option of choosing a difficulty until the end of the tutorial, though. Okay, so Gwendolyn can glide. And she has this dive attack. So she's basically the most generic character there is. Well, I, I'd say that the, the fourth character is the... Actually, no, never mind. They are not as much generic as Gwendolyn, because she's just the basic cookie-cutter character. And these things appear when you kill enemies, and it's basically, it's basically ex just experience, except it's used in different ways. Experience in this game has gotten weirdly, I tell you that much. I've not played this game in a while. Also, for every one you get, re you restore one HP, but that's not your best or just like any competent way of healing yourself. So I'll just be pulling off basically the same combos throughout most of this time. You can stun lock a surprising amount of enemies, including some bosses with the right combos. And this is just the score. After you complete an area, based on your time and your max chain, you get extra points. And the more points you get, the higher grade items you get, so yes. And you also get tutorial lore. Feel free to pause and read this, I've already read this before, so... Yeah. I'll be just running over the stuff very briefly, because of course I've seen it before. And that is a mulberry seed. Why do you have a mulberry seed? Well, it's because you need to eat food to level up. Because, I guess that makes sense, because you're a warrior. And as one of the people says, sure, you may be famous Valkyrie, but you still get hungry out on the battlefield, right? What's the inventory button again? Triangle. Hang on, I'm gonna rebind these controls now. I'm going to let you see exactly what I rebind. Button config. So attack is the same, jump is the same. Skill, I'm going to have to set this to like L1 or something. Is that L1? Um, no, I want L1 as something else. Let's try L2. I don't know. Guard is going to stay the same. Evade is going to be L1. That is L1, right? I can't see very clearly. Absorb Phosons is... I want that to be R1. Is that R1? Yeah, that's R1. Hold R1, that is. And what's L1? Skill list. Skill list? Why do I care about skill list? Fine. Let's put that as... R2. I don't care. 
Item ring needs to be circle because circle is what it was in the original game. Absorb foes on hold attack. That's exactly as it is. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna save these changes because that's how the original played out, and I prefer using circle for item rings. So you have an inventory. Um, you have surprisingly more inventory than you did in the original game. And by that I mean a lot more. So let's plant this. And it needs to absorb Phozons in order to grow. So you can hold R1 and press square to release them and just basically feed this plant here. And no releasing them and then absorbing them does not give you any XP or anything like that. They thought about that. And then you just get the fruit and you can use it to heal yourself by eating it or just like... Yeah, that's kind of its main purpose. It also gives ex experience as we can see from the... Where's the inventory? God damn it, I rebound the stats menu, didn't I? Hang on. How many of you for doing this? Uh, stats menu used to be... Wait, difficulty? Oh, the difficulty is set to normal because it's tutorial. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, where's the stats menu? Skill list is R2. That's not the stat menu, is it? No, it's not. Okay, I'll get around to that later. So we do this, and that's enough experience to level up. Exactly. Which increases all of your stats. Um, accidentally skipped that. Yes, you have stats in this game, unlike the normal game, which you didn't have stats at all. You had attack and health, and that's all you had. This game has luck stat now. Also defense stats. So now, being an idiot, I have to go and rebind the controls again. And no, that's game settings, not button config. Evade, skill list. I, I, I swear skill list is not that. Okay, that's evade. That's nothing. God, I'm an idiot for doing this. I wish I wasn't so stupid and that I know what the heck it's called. Item ring is circle, skill list is R2, area map. Reset to default. Hey, God. I, I swear. Hang on, let's reset to default and see what L2 was. L2 was... N nothing's L2. Uh, you know what, I'll do this off screen. I don't need to worry about this for now. Because back... You can use L2 to see exactly all your stats quickly. And let's go here. So, choose a difficulty. So there's easy, normal, hard, and heroic. And uh, heroic is pretty much impossible. Trust me. I'll be playing hard though because I'm very experienced in this game. I don't know how long this tutorial goes for. What an asshole, am I right? I'll be skipping through these. This game has a lot of lore, and if you don't read all this carefully, it's like... You won't get fully immersed into this. And there are pages and pages. 
Back in the original game, this wasn't done in the same manner, except it had like the same basic stuff. My family is home now. So yeah, I'll just have to cut that out because they make a lot of noise when they come home. Only when they come home for some reason. And of course I'll be saving my game because I need to. So yeah, I have two files, one that I've done everything on and a New Game Plus type thing. New Game Plus is actually surprisingly hard, considering that normal game isn't like that hard at all. I don't know how long I've been playing for, 15 minutes. Ugh. Oh well. I don't want to end the episode here, but then again, I probably won't be able to complete the next entire episode in the same thing, so... Yeah, this will just be a short first episode, I guess. Unless I actually have been recording for that long. Hang on, let me go off full screen preview mode. How long have I been recording for? Yeah, just 15 minutes, I guess. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video if you can stand the stupid, uh, how the video looks. So yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.